Um, it has been an extremely stressful series. Um, probably more stressful than I think we've had in, in a number of years. Um, quite a few housemates have threatened to walk already, but, but you were the first one to actually kind of go, do you know what, enough is enough. Um, what, what, what made you get to that point, do you think? I think that the main thing that made me make a decision to walk wasn't that I couldn't handle the house, mm. but the stress had just begun to be unbearable, you know, and, yeah. uh, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, Perez and I, it doesn't look like this problem is going to go away, so it's only going to get more stressful, and, you know, I did it uh, for myself, but I also did it for my housemates, because, you know, uh, I wanted them to have a good experience in the Big Brother house, and I don't see where one person or two people should stop, you know, their their experience and from being a positive one. And and basically, I thought about it, and I went like, you know, the, this problem is not going to go away now. Everybody's involved now. Everybody's on sites. Everybody's here, and everybody's mm -hmm. there. So, you know, I thought that if I left, it'll be good for me and uh, good for my housemates. It's, it is a shame, though, Alexander. I think that you <laughs> left because because you were you were a very loved housemate. You know that all of the housemates. I know there was obviously problems with Perez, but aside from Perez, everybody really liked you. Everybody really respected you, um, and I think that was very apparent when you know your argument with Perez came to a head. Everybody sided with you. You know, uh, Perez is going to be Perez, and he's going to do what he do, mm. uh, regardless to what and. You know, you just have to, when you're around him, you just have to kind of keep your guards up because you never know when you're going to be sucked into his drama. So, mm. uh, I mean, I, there's, I, there has to be some good parts, yeah. uh, some good sides about Perez somewhere. And, uh, you know, I've experienced some, I've experienced a few good moments with him. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, you're not going to stop him from being himself. He's going to be Perez and that's what he does. Yeah. But I think the person in the house that I respected the most and the person in the house that I had most love for would definitely be Katie, you know. She was very you know, upset Katie, Katie, when which, And the main thing about it is that I kind of knew that she would take that stance, you know, because, you know, her and I had come so far. And for a lot of people out there, they don't even know Katie. No. Because she gets so cocooned into her profession until sometimes you feel like you can't get out. Yeah. But she is a very, very kind woman, a very kind heart, and a sweet lady. And I got to know her uh, on a whole other level, and uh, and you guys don't. Absolutely. Okay. I think um, I think especially the last few days as well. She's shown a very different side to the public here who only know her in one way. And, and she's letting us see that soft side to her that, that we wouldn't necessarily have seen um, outside of the house. Um, so on uh, Friday, Katie Price entered the house. Yes. Do you think that has changed anything in there? Oh, definitely. It changed everything from the time they came into visual. <laughs> from the time she came, you could see her. It, yeah. And you could see it in the faces of uh, my housemates. They were... The women especially, they were like, oh my God, Katie yeah. Price, you know, <laughs> and it was like that, so. Has the mood and, changed since she's been there? Yeah, it had, but it's changed, it appears that it's changed for several reasons, because first of all, Katie, she's lovely, and, and I'm, got, I'm feeling her, uh, and at the same time, she came in there and held court quick, okay? I am the queen bee up in here. All of y'all better get to the side and you can go to jail first, okay? And you can go help her out. And even with all of her fame and all of, uh, you know, notoriety, she is so down to earth. And what you see with Katie is what you get. Yeah. So uh, I was really honored to be uh, in her presence and, and be a part of, you know, her. And Who would be your winner? If you had to pick one, who would you like to see walk out the winner? Who would be my one? There's a few of few of my housemates that really wants to win. Okay. If I if I had to pick a 
person that I'd like to see win would probably be Callum. He, he, I think, was really devastated you left. Really, yeah, really well, we had, you, you know, we had a lot of private time together. And our, our relationship in 10 days grew. Um, so do you have any regrets? Uh, I've had my moments. <laughs> <laughs> I've had my moments, shall I say, but my challenge wasn't with my housemates. My challenge was Alex versus Alex, you know, and, and basically I always stayed the course and stayed focused on my my purpose and my motivation for being in the Big, bro big Brother house. Yeah. And, you know, it's such a shame that, that you left the house, but... You did a great job while you were there, and um, and you were you were such a lovely housemate, and everybody seemed to really enjoy having you there. Thank you for being one of our housemates, and thank you for for talking to me today. Thank you guys for having me. Thank it was you. a great experience.